In this video, let's take a look at how to build up the brass section. This is going to include the following instruments the French horns, the trumpets, and the trombones. I'll be using Logic to demonstrate this, but you can follow along if you're going the Cubase route or if you're using another DAW. And as I've mentioned previously in this series, because it's Logic, it's using single instruments, and these are connecting to single instances within vPro. Then in Logic, I've set up the respective articulations in the Scripter plugin. So let's go through these instruments in vPro and the choices that are made for this section. So in vPro, let's go to the French horns. And with these, there's quite a selection of articulations that have been loaded up. There's a long patch that uses the DXF so that it can use the mod wheel to change up the dynamics. Then there's some short staccato patches, a marcato patch, and then some extra patches just to add some extra flavor with this instrument that you'll definitely use in epic cinematic productions. Things such as crescendos, trills, and even some rips. Now let's take a look in Logic what these sound like. So on the French horns, this is the long patch. See how when you use the mod wheel, when it's quite low, it's quite a subtle sound. And then when you rise it up, it gets quite raspy. So you'll use the mod wheel to change up the dynamics on the instrument like that. Then there's a selection of shorts. That's a short staccato, then a long staccato. Then a marcato patch. These crescendos are great. Here's a one second crescendo, and then a two second crescendo. These are just great to use up in build up sections in your epic cinematic productions. Then there's some trills, great just for some tension, and then whole tone trills. And then these rips are really amazing. You can hear how you actually would use these. So just a selection of articulations that will just give it some extra flavor in your productions. Now let's check out the trumpets. With these, there aren't too many articulations. There's a long DXF patch. Then there's a staccato patch. And then a crescendo. Now, the trombones do have quite a selection of articulations as well. You've got your longs. And your shorts, like the staccato patch. Then your muted staccato, just with a different flavor. Then your crescendos, one second crescendo, your two second crescendo. It's excellent for some build ups. Then just some extra effects like some clusters. And then flutter. Just a great extra detail to add into your productions with these articulations. And then the same as before, I've packed these brass instruments into a folder so I can minimize it and expand when needed in this template. So as I've mentioned, with brass, it's great to add in these extra effect articulations like rips and crescendos, as they work great when doing riser or build-up effects in your productions. So add these into your brass template mix as well. You'll definitely use them. So I know this is quite a short one, but it covers the same types in setting up the instruments like we did with the strings. You load up your brass instruments, 
you set up the articulations for them, then assign the respective MIDI channels, and then route them to these MIDI channels in your DAW. So go through and add your French horns, your trumpets, and trombones to your template, and remember to add in some extra effect type articulations as well, as these can really add in an extra flavor to your template when done. Now, next up, let's take a look at adding woodwinds to the template. <laughs> 